Hello? We need to talk. Is everything okay, baby? It's not something we can discuss on the phone. Baby, you're scaring me. I'll come over later. We'll talk when I get there. <gasps> Please, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Okay, at least sit down. You're working yourself up. No! Is it not enough to get me all worked up? God! No, don't, don't just stay away. Don't touch me. <laughs> Tell me, how long have you known? This today I called you immediately after speaking with them. No, they, there's something we can do, you know, there's something we, you know. You've accepted the situation already. There isn't much we can do about this. Oh God, but why did it take them so long for them to give us a response? How? Do you know how many years it has taken us? Oh, I'm part of this, remember? I'm part of this. <gasps> mm. Mm. No. You know what? Like that, I mean, we can talk about this. Please, leave. I need to think. This is gonna take me a while To know that you won't be by my side I know that I won't see your face again I know you're smiling down on me Saying everything's okay I know the journey's far from here But one day we will meet again After everything we've been through Now you're just a memory I know this is this is difficult for you. But staying with me is much better than staying alone. Look, I'll take care of you. I think I should call him. And say what? You know, tell him to persuade them some more. Hmm. Remind me again. How long have we been persuading them? Four years. Okay. No, no, no. It's not like that. Yes, we went to see them 
you know, the first tier. And they were okay. The reception was good. It was beautiful. But? But the mom... When she asked me my name and I told her her countenance changed. Look, I know the whole story. I'm just telling you to repeat it so that you can remind yourself. But you see, I, I feel like if we persuade them some more, like persuade them very well, they will have a change of heart. I don't think so. I don't know how I know, but I knew this was going to happen. How did you know? Tosin, listen. I don't want you to, to be sad or downcasted or anything like that. Think about this time like a vacation. A getaway to get to know yourself, you know, understand yourself, you know, love yourself. If you need to go on a vacation, find a way through. A vacation. <laughs> but we don't have that kind of money. Right, I, I agree. We don't have that kind of money. I'm even happy that you're considering it. You know what? How about we start with what we can afford? Like, you know, go out, meet new people, hang out. Do something fun. Mm -hmm. If I say I love you, am I mad? No, <laughs> I love you too. You'll be fine. I promise you. Make yourself comfortable. Crazy. I'll make dinner. I don't feel too good. What's wrong? I don't know. I've been coughing and sneezing since yesterday. <clears throat> oh wow. Are you at the office? No, I'm not. I'm home. I called in sick because my body wouldn't let me. <clears throat> okay. Have you taken any medications? Yes, I took Procold. You know, it helps stop the fever. Yes. Since yesterday? Mm mm. Since three days ago. But Tosin, I called you and you told me you were alright three days ago. I really didn't think it was that serious, so I just. You know. The sneezing, the coughing, I think it's malaria, so I'll go by the pharmacy later and get some medications. <coughs> Hello? Yeah, 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 I'm with you. Can you do me a favor? Run a test this afternoon before getting the drugs. Run a test? If I do that, the results will be out tomorrow. And that's when I'm able to get the medications. Exactly, because I don't know you to be a doctor who diagnoses symptoms. You can take paracetamol. It, it helps stop fever too. Okay. Now you're rubbing your being a doctor on my face, right? See, and thank your stars that I'm out of town for this conference. If not, I will have been doing more than rubbing it in your face. All right, ma'am. I get it. It's fine. Hoots! <clears throat> Good. Okay. Just get up. Try. I know. Try and get up and go take that test. Okay, I'll just go take a bath and then do the needful. I haven't been up from this bed since morning. Alright, thank you for taking care of me. <laughs> Girl, don't get almost shield me, okay? Bye. Okay, bye. I love you. <laughs> hey, hey, you're 
次。<笑>
How was your day? Beautiful. I can see that you're cooking. Yes. I decided to make something light. Something light? What happened? You didn't have anything at the office? Yes, I had been some planting, but I didn't even finish it. Why? You need good quantity for your baby. Look, I'm glad that you're not craving everything. We will have brought the market to this house or carry this house to the market. Is it that bad? No, but you know, every baby comes with different experiences. Look, you're doing good. You know, sometimes I feel like throwing up, but when I do, nothing comes out. Trust, Trust me. You will experience everything. Just give it time. And sometimes I still feel like I'm not even pregnant. <laughs> you are pregnant. Okay? Oh, wait, oh, Bosse. Hmm? How do you even know these things? You've never been pregnant. I'm a gynecologist, remember? Oh, yes. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, I was going to ask. Have you called Obina? No. I tried calling him yesterday when I got back, but I just couldn't bring myself to do that. To see, you have to do it. The sooner, the better. Okay? If it will help, I can be around when you make the call. Okay, thank you. Maybe when I'm done cooking. Sounds great. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. exaggerating until you have this child all through your maternity ah, that's roughly 12 months old i'm not crying again and i don't miss him anymore see i don't want to inconvenience you you're not inconveniencing me okay you can lie to yourself all you want no pregnant woman should be alone besides you have a friend that's a gynecologist i understand the female anatomy you don't have to be alone. Besides, <laughs> oh yeah, me. Good. Okay, so I have to just go back and finish it. You know what? Well, how about you sit down? Yeah, okay. I rest. <laughs> well, I just finish up. Chill. Just relax. I started the cooking and I'm finishing. You must find out. I'm calling, it's ringing and he's not picking. Who? Oh, okay, call again and put it on speaker. Um, hello? Tosi, wow, it's nice to hear from you again. How have you been? Um, I'm, I'm doing well, how are you? Oh, I've never been better. Um, I... I wanted us to see so that we can discuss something. I'm not home. Is this something we can talk about over the phone because I'm not even in town? Oh, you traveled? Yes, I'm in the village. My traditional wedding is tomorrow. Hello, are you there? Hmm? Yes, I am. Okay, so I might take a while before I come back. What is it you want us to meet about? What is it? I, I, I wanted to talk to you about a, a document. You, but since you're not around, I'll just go meet my director. And uh, I wish you luck tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Thanks, sir. Bye. So, bye. What was that about? He is getting married tomorrow. And so what? I cannot tell him about the pregnancy which jeopardize everything. It will ruin the marriage ceremony. Hey! And, you know, someone who is doing his wine carrying tomorrow must have paid the bride price long before now. Hey! I can't do this to another woman. So you will do this to yourself? You 
You will do this to yourself, Tosin. Look, single parenting is a long journey. Just in case you're trying to embark on it. Are you not supposed to be supporting me? Of course I will support you. But you need to tell that man that you're carrying his child. I can't. Why? Because the, the trauma, the everything, the drama that will come out, I can't take it. I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for it and my baby's not ready for it. And besides, his, his parents, his family, they don't, they don't want me. They don't want you, but they might change their mind. No, or it might make it worse. Can't you see it? I can't, I can't just... I can't. Do you understand it? Or worse, the, the parents will accuse me of using this pregnancy to tie their, their son down. Knowing fully well that they were not even in support of this relationship in the first place. Can't you see it? Oh God, what did I do? You know, this is, this is just best. It's best because it, it's even good I relocated. I just need to, you know, take care of myself and, and that's it. Jesus! Take it one day at a time, okay? Oh, God! So hard to understand why, why my life is filled with lies. Is it something I did? No. I know what I'm feeling right here without you. Cause I've been my
your days and lonely nights I've tried so hard to understand why Why my life is filled with lies Is it something I did? Yeah. I know what I'm feeling right here without you Cause I've built my world all around you Living my life without you It's like a night without a moon You're reflecting this fragile heart of mine Like my reflection, you're me on the other side I don't know, the cough, it's really, really strong. <coughs> it started uh, a couple of days ago. <coughs> I didn't want to disturb you, that's why. I can take care of myself. Did you say sorry? Alright, I will. Man, my chest is burning. Okay, you take care of yourself, alright? Bye. Oh. Oh, God. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. How did you know I needed water? Because you were coughing. Yes, I was coughing. 
Are you alright? You're yes. not smiling. I did, but nothing. My chest hurts. Okay, I think you should go to the hospital. And where's Biodo? Um, he's still in school. Oh wow. Hey, the, the time, please. Can you help me pick him? I should pick him up. Please, please. Okay, please. I'll, I, I'll, I'll get. Come back and get you. Okay. 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 I'll, I'll be back soon. <coughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> But I need to pick up a song. All right. Doctor, how is she? What's going on? Calm down. Um, your friend woke up a couple of times and it got me thinking. I have a question for you. Does your friend smoke? No, she doesn't smoke. I'm asking because of uh, the constant clutching over her chest. I was thinking it was uh, the heart, but it wasn't the heart after all. It's actually the lung. Okay. We had to expand our tests and... It is safe to say, your friend has a, a lung cancer. Lung cancer? Yes, like I said, we had to expand our tests. We sent out some samples and it came back from in the tests. How? That's the reason I'm asking you if she smokes. She doesn't smoke. Well, there are other contributive factors. Doctor, do everything you can for her, please. Commence the treatment in full. Begin with a chemotherapy. Make sure we contain the cancer cells just at the lung region. And we proceed. As treatment progresses, there are other factors. The main thing now is to contain the cancer cells. Doctor, do everything you can for her, please. I'm here. Anything you need, just talk to me. I will. Take it easy. Why are you looking at me like that? Have you been crying? Why shouldn't I? Don't worry, I'll be fine. There's so many things that are bothering me. Your hospital bills are accumulating. 
Our builders, attenders in school is dwindling by the day. And I have to juggle taking care of you, a building, and working. It's a lot of sin, it is. I am sorry. I am sorry I'm piling all this on you. It's not intentional. And don't worry, very soon I'll be fine and things will return back to normal. You see, you're starting king. How do you expect things to just bounce back? You insist on not involving Abiodo's dad. Why? No, he's married. I know. But he's Abiodo's father and the man deserves to know that he has a child. And honestly, it can help us. I'll think about it. <laughs> Don't cry, okay? Don't. <laughs> I'm not complaining, okay? You'll be fine. Mm. I'm not complaining. Don't cry. Sorry, okay? It's okay. <laughs> So this is her lungs. Okay. The malignants are spreading. We need to operate on her very fast. Hmm. So I need to speak with the husband. He has some papers to sign for. Um, I can sign it. The husband is not available right now. Um, he will be here shortly. Okay, no problem. Let's sign. All right, thank you. It's ringing and he's not speaking. I'm trying again. Um, hello? Hi, Tosun. How have you been? It's been ages. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm fine. How are you? Are you sure you're alright? Uh, yes. Please, can we see? I need to discuss something with you. No, you're scaring me. Um, can we just see? Because what I want to discuss with you, it's not a phone conversation. Tosun, what's happening? I don't like the way you sound. Um, you know, if I could come to where you are, I would, but I can't. But I can text you an address. You know, you come there and see me. What do you mean? I, uh, I have cancer. I have lung cancer and... It's spreading badly. There is something else I think you should know. We have a son together. Hello? Send me an address. I'm going to text you the address soon. Hello? Let me send to text him the address back. I'll just text him. I can think of several reasons why you need someone, but none of them is good enough. Your parents didn't want us to get married. The end, by the time I found out that I was with the child, you were already getting married. You know, sometimes I just wonder how you were able to move on so easily. I called you several times, you didn't pick up. I went to your house, was told that you had moved out, you weren't at work either. And then my father died. Your father? Yes. I'm sorry. 
He died two weeks after we parted. The wedding was, was a thing of convenience, the marriage. I was coronated shortly after, and in order for me to be king, I needed to have a wife. Sir, please take me to the doctor. God's name is she coping? Honestly, I don't know. You know, look, you know her. She's strong head. I insisted that she continues to stay with me, but she said no. Thankfully, our business picked up and she got an apartment. My mind has been racing. All these years, I wasn't there for her. She must have been through hell. She didn't miss me enough to at least reach out. Well. Well? Look, I don't know if she misses you or she does not miss you. I don't know. You could have convinced her to reach out somehow. You could have reached out yourself. No, I tried, okay? Trust me, I did. Huh? Be thankful that this happened and the doctor was inquisitive about you. The doctor asked of me? Not necessarily. He asked after her husband. Look, she has nobody else. She's not seeing anyone at the moment. What have to you? And yet she didn't reach out to me. She didn't want to bring issues with your family. She didn't want to drag, disrupt your family life. Listen, I love her. And I could have left everything just to be with her. You know, honestly, that's exactly what she didn't want. She didn't want you to go through war with yourself and your family. She didn't want that. She loves you too much. You think she still loves me? Do you still love her? I never stopped loving her. Which way to the doctor's office? Doctor. Ah. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Doctor, Come. thank you. I heard you've been asking of me. What's the progress on Tosin's treatment? Please, I'd like you to do everything possible so that she can get better. No matter how expensive it is, money's not the problem. Just give her the best treatment possible. Not a problem. Welcome. Please, do everything you can. I will. Thank you. Obina. Obina. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah. Why are you looking worried? No, I'm not. I'm not looking worried. I'm not worried. Do you want me to get you something to no, eat? No, 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 no. I don't need you getting me anything. I'm fine. Don't you think I'm taking too much of your time? No. You're not. Obina, you are married. You are a king. Your family and your kingdom needs you. You're my family too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obina, you need to go home and discuss with your wife. Does she know where you are? Not really. But she knows that my friend is ill. But she doesn't know who this your friend is. 
But does she know about Abiodun? Hmm. I plan to discuss that matter with her after I see you. <laughs> Omina, you need to go home and discuss things with your wife. And like I said earlier, they'll be here soon. And once they are here, Bosa will take care of every other thing that needs to be taken care of. Alright? And you need to go home. I feel like making up for all those years that I missed. In a day? If it will help. <laughs> I miss I miss your laughter. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here now. I'm not going anywhere. Obina. Yeah. I am. Um... I am not responding to treatment. I know. The doctor told me. But the doctor also said that you're lasting day after day, so... I'm thinking maybe now that I'm here, you will improve. <laughs> and you recover. Yes. <sighs> I miss you. I miss your smile. I'll always be here. I'm not going anywhere, okay? You've got this. I love you. I always will. I always have. Okay? Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mommy, is that him? Oh my god. Do you know me? Yes, mommy told me about you. And Tibosa said you came. Do you miss me? Yes. Oh my god. Tell me about your school class, are you? Basic 2. Basic 2. Do you like your teacher? Yes, but I don't like her every time. I don't like her when she says, If you don't keep quiet, I will bring my long cane. The cane is very long, but it is not me she will flog with No, it. it's not you, my son. It's not you. So, do you have a best friend? Tell me about your best friend. Yes, his name is Michael. He is in my class. He is like my height and he always likes to play with me. Thank you for keeping him. I appreciate this. Do you have a best friend? Yeah, your mom used to be my best friend. Until Auntie Bosa came and took her away from me. What? But the two of you can be best friends. And I can be your best friend too. I just have to tell Michael that we have a new best friend. I will appreciate that. He hasn't eaten. No, we was waiting to see your Will you feed me? Uh, let's do it this way, okay? You let Auntie Bosse feed you while I feed mommy. Okay? Okay. Fine, I'll I'll just feed Um, I'll come back later. Okay? If there's any development, call me. Even if it's to just hear my voice, I mean it. Okay. It's my boy. We'll take it one step at a time. All I know is that you become a part of the family. And she's well, she'll visit from time to time.
What about us? Our kids are mine. You'll have another step brother. You have a stepson. And I'm the friend in their mother for so much. And she's a pretty good lady, so. Did you hear yourself? Just like that. What else can I say? For now, her health is paramount. I'm telling you, I'll tell her later. Hello, how are you today? What's wrong? Are you okay? Is there anything wrong with you? Give him the phone. Hey, buddy, how are you? What's up? Why are you disturbing mommy? When do you want to see me? Okay. I'll, I'll come. I'll come and see you. Are you okay now? Will you eat your food now? Give the phone back to your mom. Hey. Who says I don't intend to keep it? Yeah. Yeah, but my boy has not eaten. I don't tell me that you're not happy that I'm coming back. No buts, no buts. I'll talk to you later. Take care of yourself, okay? So you're going back there? Yes, my boy hasn't eaten, so... So anytime he doesn't eat, you run off to them? Yes. They are my family too. You can't be running on and off like that. You have a family. I have not been a part of that boy's life and I can only imagine what it... what it costs the mother to raise him to this level. The least I can do... The least we can do is to be more hard on him. Come to think of it, go get the kids ready. Um, they'll, they'll go and see their elder brother. I'm sure they don't be thrilled. I'm taking my kids anywhere. Your kids? Our kids. Are you going to get them ready or do I give instructions for them to do that? Good.
<laughs> you didn't see you were coming back. Hey, I... I didn't know you were coming with your family. Uh, it was a last minute decision. How are you feeling today? I am... I'm pulling through. I'm sorry about your health. Yeah, I said so much about you. Well, really? <laughs> Thank you. Just if you thought he was busy stand. Uh -huh. I can imagine. This is Uwa Tosi. We call her Tosi. And this is Adese, my, my wife. Nice to meet you. Same here. That's Adana, my daughter. And this is Ikenna, my son. Yeah. Uh, my boy, you you have your siblings now. Yeah? Say hello to your siblings. Daddy, <laughs> <laughs> can you tell me if you don't give me this Of course, of course. That's why you're here. You teach them. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, Has the doctor? Huh? Sorry, I was okay. going to use the. Oh okay. oh, okay, please let me, let me oh. take you. Thank you. Right, uh, please take care. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, I'll clear with you. I'll clear with you. Clear with you. Huh? Hi. Has the doctor seen you today? Um, baby, baby's my own. Oh. 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 I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm so sorry. Have you sent the doctor? Mm. Yes, he's considering on, you know, letting me go. He said I can come from, for my checkup. I, I'm not sure that's a good idea. I think you'll be safer here. And the money's not a problem. I'll take care of the hospital bills. I know, that's, that's a lot of responsibilities on you. I'm not complaining. Huh? I'll teach you what I have to play the game. I'll sit down there. Yes, uh, say your goodbyes to your siblings, all right? We need to, maybe we need to go and check out the hotel, so it's getting late. We'll be back in the morning. Okay. Okay? Goodbye. Uh, Get well soon, okay? Please take care of yourself. We'll be fine. Kids. Thank you, bye. Bye. Have you done? You okay? me here I should not go home it's going to foot the bills and all of that I told you right it's good mm. Send it to my email. All right, thank you. Okay, bye bye. Hey. Hey. 
okay. You're here. Yeah. Why didn't you wake me? I didn't want to disturb your beauty sleep. You're here early, and you know Abiodun won't be here up until 10 or 11.30. Uh, actually, I came to talk to you. I hope everything is okay. Yes, everything is fine. I spoke to the cabinets about Abiodun. I was on the phone with one of them just before you woke up. And what did they say? That I should marry you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why? No, why not? I, I don't want to be far from both of you. It will give me an opportunity to be close to you both. It breaks my heart terribly to know that my son is in the city, missing me. And his mom is too ill to bring him to me. Obina, I am dying. The only important thing to me right now is that you be in Abiodun's life as much as you can, even when I leave you. I don't only want to be in his life, I want to be in your life as well. I want to bridge the distance between us. I long for you. You have a special place in my heart. Mm -mm, we shouldn't. Your Shh, wife. Don't bring her up, please. You bring her up every time we talk. It makes me feel like you're using her as some defense mechanism. But I. Shh, no buts. Don't you have feelings for me anymore? I. Does it matter? I'm dying. My days are numbered. So let's make good use of those days. Think about it. Have you had anything to eat? Let me just make something for no, you. No, 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 no. I don't take those things anymore. I take mostly liquid now. So, what about brushing and bathing? Brushing your teeth and bathing? Mm -hmm. there, uh, there is a special nurse assigned for that. You don't know I can do that for you, right? Please, your wife. I told you not to talk about her. Ever since the first time I saw you again, I've wanted to kiss your lips. So that means I don't really look that sick. No, you look sick, all right. But you're still the love of my life. Okay. 
Alright, um, that's all right. it. Please, um, just if there's any development, just call me. Right? I'll do that. And if the money's not enough, just let me know. I'll no send problem. you something. No Thank okay? you. Thank you. Bye. Take care of yourself. Yeah, bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will not talk. I will not talk. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kissing your forehead, kissing mm -hmm. other places. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll talk later. Anyway, I bought you a drink. Um, well, you know I'm taking liquids now. I know, I know, but you will be able to eat now. You're going to be helped. Okay. Right, let's go and have your bath. Oh, oh, no, let me call the nurses so they can help me remove this. Uh, so we can have your bath. Eh? Okay. Sorry, this. Yes, I've sent the documents through uh, WhatsApp. My boss will read and explain to you. Our son needs to go through the initiation. Sort of like. Uh, Rite of passage for him to become the son of the soul. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And also because it is required that uh, every male born by women who are not from a place, it's, it's a requirement. I also want you, I also want you both to be with me as soon as possible. So um, he needs to join the next set. The initiation comes up in a few weeks. Sure, sure. Sure. How are you guys today? Are you missing me? That's good. Because if you were missing me, I would have been on my way to see you right away. I miss you more. I don't worry, I'll visit soon. Huh? All right, I need to go now. I'll greet our son for me and please be well for us, all right? So, what do you think about the initiation? I don't really know what I think about it, but... Obina told me that I shouldn't worry about anything. He said his cousins went through the same initiation. And that his subsequent sons will still pass through the same initiation. Huh. That his wife is not from the same village as himself. Sincerely, I didn't know such culture, such rules still exist. But well, I'm not the one marrying him. And God knows if it's that it's not mandatory that a burden has to go through that, you know, initiation to be fully accepted to be his son. I won't be here thinking about it. <sighs> well, if you ask me, I will say that you finally get married to him, okay? He's a king, he's eligible to marry more than one wife. <laughs> Gonna those days, these thoughts were in my head, not anymore. But sir, hmm? you and I know that I won't be here anytime soon. At least when the, the chemo stops working on me. Tosin, you're not going anywhere, okay? I believe that you're going to pull through. I like your belief. I want you to promise me something. Promise me that you always go to see Abiodun when you have the chance. To see you are not going anywhere. You want to marry You're not going to take care of your child by yourself. <laughs> Bosse, please, I need you to promise me. At least, I'll know that you're here to look out for him. 
please. Good. Okay, can we can can we stop talking about this? It's making me yeah. making, making everyone uncomfortable. You look so, so ugly when you <laughs> cry. You too. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you guys doing? How are you? Good. What brings you here? You... You didn't tell us you were coming. You didn't call. <laughs> you know, um... I mean, I don't know how the skin things work. I don't know if you're allowed to travel a long distance and you know with your gods. These are modern times. Those are... Those are the old days. Hmm, modern times. And my son is about to undergo an acceptance ritual. Initiation. That one is vital for our son's future. How are you? <sighs> well, I'm pulling through. Uh, so tell me, why are you here? Why are you in the city? I came to see you. Why? Do I need a reason to come all the way to see you? Um, it's just that you... You are a king and... Listen, first of all, you're ill and you're hospitalized. Second, you're the mother of my son. I've been thinking about you, about us actually, and I spoke to my wife and my cabinet members about it. I want to marry you. I'll bring you and my son closer to me. I can't bear to think that you'll be here all alone, thinking about his welfare. Um, oh, but Bosse is here. No, no, I'm okay. I'm not to see the nurse. I'll be having Okay. How is your mom? She's well. Well, I'm asking because you know your parents are the reason we're in this situation. Your dad is no more and your mom, I don't know if she's had a change of heart. Well, I don't, I don't think she has, but I made it clear to her, so. I wish you had made it clearer to them years ago. You know, we need to understand now that whatever happened, maybe that's how Providence wanted it to happen. Now that our son is in the picture, things have changed. What if she hasn't changed her mind? What if she says to you, take your son and let her be? Ah, she'll have to let me be. Tosin, we're wasting time with this. Will you marry me? Um, you know, years ago I would have given you an answer instantly. But years have gone by. Things have changed. I am here. I am not okay. And then will you at least think about it? I have, but... Shh. Will you think about it? Will you think about it? I... Ask me again when... Our son is done with the initiation. So, the reason I called you here is concerning the initiation of my son. I know that his mother is not from our place. I can't do it alone. I need your help and support. So I need you behind me. Because he's my flesh, he's my blood. 
and he's also one of us. I, I, I appreciate him. I'm, I'm really grateful because I'm your son and I thank you for supporting. So, as you are um, going for the initiation process, you'll go well and you'll come back well, okay? Alright? Alright. Alright, let's go.
For how long are you planning on being like this? Like how? Don't you have marriage in your future plans? Hmm. Please, how am I going to get married? Who is going to take care of you, eh? Or will I carry you to my matrimonial home? I am serious. I'm also serious. Take Michael for example. You told me to choose between yourself and him. That wasn't what you told me. You told me your relationship went south. It's the same thing as it went south. No, it is not. No sane man would, you know, believe you're telling them the truth about how you've been sticking to me. Well, that is what true friendship is all about. Says who? Says me. Says me. And I don't feel bad about it. Oh, my baby. Say hello to your mommy. Mm. Wow. Okay. Mm. Mommy, were you very sick because I went to be? No, baby. No. No, I wasn't. Wasn't. Need stop stressing your mom, huh? I am fine. So tell me, how was it? It was fine. What happened? Was it fun? It was fun, mommy. Okay. He sounds different. Obina, what did they do to my son? Nothing unusual. Maybe you didn't tell them the baby I'm going. Oh, I forgot. My Igbo name is Ugonna. Wow. <laughs> and do you know what Ugona means? Sure, Father's glory. Oh, wow. Okay. I see someone has so much fun. Yes, I've been so happy since he told me about it. Okay. okay I think it's time for us to go. He needs to rest, okay? We'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Uh, Ugona, you need to go with them so you can freshen up. If I go with them, who's going to stay here with you? You know we have a uh, suspended talk pending our son's return. Do you want to start the conversation now? What better time? Just go with your son and take care of him. Baby, you sleep with your daddy in my room. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. All right, you and my son have been through a lot. Can, can we do this tomorrow? Please just go with your son, take care of him. Baby, sleep with your daddy in my room today because your room hasn't been touched. Yeah? Okay, mommy. Alright, I'll see you. Alright. Okay. Okay. 
To happen tomorrow. Okay, um, I'm going to ask you to be my wife. So you will marry her tomorrow. I'm just going to ask. She has to accept. I know my mom and she will agree. <laughs> okay, well, in that case, that's what you said, right? Tomorrow is going to be the day. Right. Mom? Can we all go home now? Young man? I've been thinking about your frequent traveling. It's neither good for your kingdom nor your family. Why don't you bring them back? Yes, you're traveling every week, forth and back. It's not good. I mean, why don't you marry her and bring her home? Yes, you have my concern.
Mm. Not my, not my thing. Okay. been holding this ring for as long as I remember. I never got a chance to put it on her finger. I think we'll go to the mortician, you know, so she can wear it for her final appearance. Daddy, I miss her. I'll miss her too, buddy, but listen, I 
I'm glad we have each other now. Hmm? I guess that's all she always wanted. This is gonna take me a while To know that you won't be by my side That I won't see your face for a while I know that you're in a better place I know that I won't see your face again I know you're smiling down on me Saying everything's okay I know the journey's far from here But one day we will meet again After everything we've been through Now you're just a memory I will remember Cause your face is stuck in my heart I will remember You're a part of me I won't forget I will remember Cause your face is stuck in my heart I will remember You're a part of me I won't forget This is gonna take me a while To know that you won't be by my side That I won't see your face for a while I know that you're in a better place I know that I won't see your face again I know you're smiling down